Hi, this video is going to talk about how you can save on your electric bill with a gas furnace. Somehow that doesn't seem right, but I think when you follow through this video, you'll see how this works. Shown here is a typical 90% efficient gas furnace. And while the heat source is natural gas, you still have an electric blower motor that moves the air through the duct system. This is what the motor typically looks like. This is a single phase motor. The shaft drives the blower wheel that moves the air through your duct system. Most furnaces come with a standard single speed motor. And what that means is shown graphically here. The red arrow is indicating that when that motor first starts, when the furnace first comes on, that there is a certain amount of amperage it takes to just get that motor going. So the startup amperage only lasted for a, a second or two, and then you can see the amperage drops down to what we call the running load amps under the red arrow. And this is the amount of amperage consumed by the motor during that cycle it's running. And then the amperage tails completely off to zero, and the motor comes to a complete stop at the end of that one heating cycle. Looking at this over time, even just a single day, you can see there are numerous peaks as the motor each time it starts has that peak starting amperage, tails off to the running amps, and then drops to zero. The peaks are due to something known as Newton's first law of motion. Every time that motor has to start from zero, it takes more energy to get it going, and once it is going, then it wants to stay in motion and it takes less energy to do so. This is called the law of inertia. Now I'd like to introduce you to a different kind of motor called a variable speed motor. And as we look at the chart, it too will have a one-time start where it's going to have to overcome inertia and there will be a one-time peak. And like the single speed motor, the variable speed motor too will have its amperage fall down to the running load amps during the time that we're moving air in the system. But here's where the big difference is. Note at the end of the run that the motor does not come to a complete stop. It's not turning very fast and it's consuming very little amperage, but the big thing is it does not come to a complete stop. So as we look at this motor operate over time, note that there is one peak the first time it starts, but after that there are no further peaks. Why is that? We no longer have to overcome inertia because the motor is already spinning. Not real fast, but it is moving, so we don't have to overcome inertia, and we only come up to the running load amps, drop back down, and back to the running load amps. No more peaks. Is this important? Yes. This final graph shows both motors running simultaneously. The red line is showing our single speed motor, and the blue line, the variable speed motor. So does this make a big impact on your electric bill to not have to have that starting amperage every time? Yes. Studies have shown it's between 30 and 40 percent of the cost of operating that furnace. In dollars and cents for the average three-bedroom home, we're looking at probably about 100 to 125 dollars a year. This is a relatively significant savings. There are some other advantages to having that motor turning a little bit at the end of the cycle. First of all, air continues to move through your air filtration system and it keeps the air from stagnating in the rooms. Now if you're buying a new furnace system, make sure and ask about a variable speed motor option as a factory installation. But if you have an older furnace, you can retrofit a new motor in. Uh, the cost is between $550 and $750 plus the cost of installation. But studies show the payback is about five to seven years. So if you have a, a furnace only a few years old that will likely have a lifespan of about 20 years, this is certainly uh, a good investment. For more information on heating, ventilating, and air conditioning, both residential and commercial, please visit our website at heatingcoolingconsultants.com. For current information, please go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Thanks for listening today, and I hope this was some help to you.